there, it's Phoebe from Quilted Pig. Today I'm going to show you how to either stuff a pillow or make your own pillow form to use that you can use over and over with different pillow covers. The reason I've done this is I made a pillow yesterday and it was just lumpy and I had used a, a purchased pillow form and I just knew that I didn't like how it looked. It looked lumpy. So I'll show you how I do it and then you can see if that will work for you. A good way for this to be useful for you is if you are, like I said, making pillow covers and you want to be able to change out the cover every month or every season or whatever. Or also if you just want a smoother look on the front of your pillow. So let's start with the stuffing. So I pulled out all the stuffing. Now this big old pile of stuffing came out of this one 12 by 12 thing. Now, I recommend that if you're going to restuff an already existing pillow form, don't cut the corner off like I did. I just started cutting on one side and cut all the way across, and I should have cut and left a, a little corner bit. And the reason for that is we want to make sure that stuffing gets all the way into the corners of our pillow form or our pillow. Um, <clears throat> pillow form is also useful if you're doing a crocheted or a knit project or something like that where stuffing might poke through the holes. So let's start with the stuffing. So this, you can see, this is a big old lumps, not good. Um, take it and tuft it out. And this is the same thing if you're pulling uh, polyester stuffing out of a bag. Pull it into little bitty tufts. I know that looks stupid, but it sure does help. The little bitty tufts, see, that, that was kind of a hard lump. Pulling it into the little bitty tufts, it gives it a little more fluff and it'll look better in the end. So what I'll do, is, and again, this goes back to I should not have cut this corner off, but you know, do as I say, not as I do. I'm going to stuff my first place that I'm going to hit with this stuffing is in the corner. I'm just going to use my fingers and make sure it gets poked down in there. Some of my light and fluffy that I've already tufted it apart, and I'm going to stuff that down in the corners. So that's the first thing because nobody likes a pillow that has floppy corners. So we'll do that and then I will just continue to tuft all of this. Just pulling it into little tufts. And stuff it in the pillow. Now this will, by having it in the smaller tufts like that, you won't get where you can see this hard lump underneath either your pillow or your pillow form. So I'll just continue to do that and stuff that and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, you can see that I have restuffed the whole pillow. Um, again, if I were doing this over, I would not have cut this portion open. That way I could stuff in the corner. But you can see now our corners are nicely stuffed. It doesn't look lumpy on the surface of the pillow form. And so you can make, if you're making a pillow, you can make a pillow form just really any size that you need. You can make a round one, whatever, um, because the forms are actually pretty expensive compared to just buying the fiber um, the fiber on its own. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll like and subscribe for more videos on mostly quilting and other crafts. And I hope that you will have a good day. Thanks for joining me again today. Bye-bye.